everyone welcome back to my channel so sometime last week um, I was going through my DM and I saw one of you guys somebody sent me a, a DM the lady was like oh my please I really want you to help me out like I love the way your home looks I love you know like watching your videos so she was like please oh my is it possible to like take it all the way kind of 101 you know kind of basics kind of home improvements or you know home basics like she's like she love all day kind of you know she love watching um home videos but she doesn't know where to start she said her home is a mess she has kids and it's just like like she said that basically when she watched me she she feels so inspired but then after she finished watching me and she see looks at, at her home she doesn't even know where to start from so i was like oh this is actually a very good video to like kind of treat and so of course i replied her i was like you know what i wanted to explain like point give you pointers but probably it's better i do a video she was so excited she was like yes you know i told her i said i'm gonna do a youtube video regarding that so in today's video guys i'm going to share inexpensive ways like inexpensive ways to improve your home where do you start if you let's say now of course all of us we all have a home right you're looking around your home and then you're like I really want to improve my home but I don't know where, where to start. I was in that category like a few months ago or a few years ago. I used to tell people like all this improvement and everything people see me with now, you know, it started in 2020 when I was pregnant with my son. It just, I guess I would say it came with a pregnancy because yeah, I just found myself loving home decor and before I knew it, I had him. I started from me just trying to keep the and kind of fix up the house right because we're having a newborn i wanted him to come home from the hospital to a nice house and things like that and i just did our bedroom and then from our bedroom after i had him i was like wow like i saw the transformation in our bedroom i was like you know what this is looking like something i would love to kind of venture into and that was how it all started but prior to how my home looks now guys my home was a disaster like when maybe in terms of pictures maybe we're going through pictures you know of the kids around the home i'm like wow like because it's like sometimes you forget the improvements it's just like when people are praying for something and then that thing happens you forget about that thing and you start asking for the next thing so it's like wow i always get taken aback how my house used to look like it was a disaster when i mean a disaster guys it used to be a hot mess so i just had like seven um major uh, that's why I said this is a 101 like major things you have to do let's say like I said if you're just starting you don't know where to go you don't know your left from your right when it comes to improving your home these are like the, the basic things I feel like everybody should be able to know or start with then after you're done watching this video you can then I'll probably have a link to the 102 right in this video so that when you've done the basic things you need to do in this video you can then go over to maybe adding flowers decorating your home and things like that but this is more like basics and of course my number one tip when it comes to inexpensive ways to improve your home is please try as much as possible to clean up the clutter i would say the clutter will have to be my number one tip because let's assume you're looking at your home right now and everywhere like you have piles of clothes you have piles of toys if you're a mom you have things all littered and scattered all over the place like you're not even gonna be able to visualize or to see how you want to to like add that improvement to your home so decluttering is a very huge i would say decluttering like cleaning up is like number one when it comes to you know inexpensive ways to improve your home because yeah you can't you can't improve a home that is is a mess you have to first of all start from decluttering in terms of maybe if you want to get rid of toys if you want to get rid of clothes i have this rule, rule of thumb that any outfit i haven't worn for six months it needs to go that means i really don't need it so this also boils down to your kids if you have kids like clothes that maybe you keep for your kids and for six months they haven't worn it like come on you gotta get rid of all those things because those are the things that cost a lot of um, 
what clutter you know it just clutters the the, the the home it clutters everywhere that you're not even able to see where to start that is one thing I always notice like like when people say they don't even know where to start start from the cluttering guys like start from cleaning up because once you're able to declutter and clean up and air out that space then you'll you'll now be able to be like okay this is the this is what i need here this is what i need there this is what i need there but when you're not able to even visualize what it is you need you can see that it's a problem My second tip is to go ahead and you know add some fresh coat of paint to the space painting a space adds a lot a lot a lot of improvements to that space guys it also adds a lot of value to a space because imagine especially for people if you're kind of working on maybe selling your home trying to add some paint to the home you will see how it will just lift the place it will not only would it lift that space it would also give it that modern look and for me of course you guys already know i'm so in love with white paints like white paints is something i absolutely love because come on you can never go wrong with white right so yeah white paints is a very if you're not really really sure of yourself when it comes to mixing and matching paints i would always say go with a very flat neutral white paint of course it's either you go with a glossy paint or you go with a flat paint it all depends on you or semi-gloss it depends on you but of course when you've gone ahead to paint guys like you've already already started seeing some improvements in the space i'm kind of talking to you guys but then i'm I remembering how I was able to get like from one step to the next to the next to the next to the next that was how I was able to at least get my home to what it's you know looking like today so once you've gone ahead and you know um, painted the next thing is to look look at your light fixtures because sometimes depending on the time the home was built you will notice that maybe your fixture is outdated and of course before i used to think that all these things cost a lot of money but you guys thank god for places like wayfair amazon you can go there i believe you can see like modern elegant light light fixtures for maybe thirty dollars forty dollars fifty dollars gone are the days you have to spend like 400 500 dollars if you want to get something really really nice in terms of fixtures in your home and when it comes to fixtures you have like the daylights the warm lights the led the fluorescence the chandeliers like we have a lot we have probably over 20 different you know lighting when it comes to kind of looking at the fixture or kind of lighting in your home so yeah for me i absolutely love chandeliers there's just this elegance adding a chandelier in a space gives that space so you've decluttered you've painted you add your fixture or your light like you guys basically when you look at that particular space you will notice that there's already improvement there like right off the bat probably you didn't even spend all, up to hundred dollars you know how much is paint how much is light fixtures like like I said but you can see that improvement already taking shape in your home the fourth yeah my fourth tip is to go ahead and this is specifically for like if you're on a budget if you're on a tight budget like if you don't want to buy new things right you can go ahead and refurbish your old hardware you can go ahead and um, refurbish your old furniture some people are gifted where they can sew right you probably when it comes to maybe your sofa you can maybe go to joanne joanne fabrics you can get a fabric if you can sew or you can actually take measurements look for a seamstress that can maybe sew um what is it called uh, uh, a case for your sofa you know so that way you can have something you can use to cover an old sofa and i remember back in the day probably seven eight nine years ago we had this leather seat that it was literally new guys but you know one thing about leather seats is the fact that as i don't know like they start peeling you know it was probably under a year or two but it just started to peel and i was like there's no how like i'm not trying that um so i'm not trying that um sofa out so what i did was i went to amazon i got um uh, a sofa cover right like immediately i put it on that sofa guys that sofa looked brand new it was as if i added a brand new sofa in my living room but that was just because i added a cover kind of a sofa cover and the one i added was so fitted it made the couch look 
literally brand new so in terms of refurbishing your your furniture you can also go ahead and paint your furnitures i know some people you probably have a nightstand that maybe you don't like the color or an outdated nightstand right you can just coat it with a, fr a fresh um, coat of paint paint it white paint it gray whatever color you want to paint that a um, nightstand and you will notice it will look literally brand new and you know for instance like i said for your nightstand you can also go ahead and change your furniture hardware what i mean by the hardware is like the the handle you know the one the handle you use to pull and open it you know your cabinets your nightstand you know any furniture at all you can go ahead and change out the handles guys the hardware and you would be surprised i mean you're going to be surprised of how much improvement like just painting that furniture and also adding a brand new hardware into that furniture how much like improvements it will add to that particular system. but of course you can always invest in a brand new quality furniture i'm absolutely in love with homery products you guys know i have their nightstand and also their console table in our bedroom and i've been enjoying this product guys like this nightstand is so elegant and one thing i love about their products is it's always unique products you don't just find anywhere else guys and also their products are great quality with nice price is you can definitely take advantage of their holiday sale the black friday and the cyber monday deals guys i mean they have a lot of deals this holiday season and also you guys remember the the toilets in my bathroom because we, we we actually recently renovated our bathroom and this um toilet right here this automatic toilet is also from hallmary.com this um shower faucets my sink faucets my lights oh my gosh you guys i absolutely love homery products and they are known for all things home furniture anything at all guys definitely check the link in my description box to get your discount code and also enjoy their sales yeah to my sixth um, tip i would always advise you know especially this is particularly for the kitchen you guys know actually few places that actually add a lot of value to your home especially if you're if you're a homeowner is i believe your kitchen your bathroom right and your basement yeah your kitchen very important your bathroom and also your basement so this particular um, tip is for your kitchen because I know sometimes people probably get a space or you move into a home that you probably don't like your countertop and I always say that you guys when I tell people that the countertop in my home right now is a peel and stick 3d countertop they usually don't believe it because i made it in such a way that you won't even know even though it's a peel and stick guys when i was laying it down i made sure everything just flush and flows together so that way it looks as realistic as possible so with that i would say if you're not really i know a lot of people probably have dingy countertops a lot of people don't like the color of their countertop sometimes people like home um owners or people that actually own the home they probably put a color of countertop that you don't maybe fancy or a countertop you don't even like i would always suggest you go ahead and use a peel and stick they have assorted they have a lot of them on amazon they actually make it look so realistic right now that if you're not looking closely you would not know that is a peel and stick or they call it 3d um countertop wallpapers guys they are so 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 good and of course my last and final tip is when you've gone ahead and done everything i just you know talked about in this video we've tackled we've actually tackled the the, the space you know decluttering we've tackled the ceiling which is the lighting we've tackled the walls which is the painting and now the floor guys of course i also was that type of person that or i used to be that type of person that always thought that um, flooring are very very expensive of course when we're talking about flooring it all depends on you guys but for me I feel like putting on putting down um, a rug or a carpet it's far cheaper than actually bringing in or else it's something you can do by yourself but when it comes to things like flooring I'd rather get like professionals to install 
you know the flooring and when i'm talking about flooring guys it all depends on you if you're talking if you're thinking of hardwood floor if you're thinking of vinyl floor you know but for me if you're on a budget if since we are talking about inexpensive ways to improve your home you can just go ahead and pick up a carpet a rug those things are so inexpensive you can go down to Burlington, you will see probably a rug of maybe 9 by 12 or 6 by 10 or something like that they are probably in the hundred dollar range or something like that but yeah carpet rugs they are very very good when we're talking about like the floor of your space or the floor of your home i love vinyl floors a lot like my home we actually used to have carpets but i believe it was last year we decided to um kind of take off all the carpets and then we laid down hardwood floor not hardwood floor a vinyl floating floors and i absolutely you know love them they've been serving us since last year it's been amazing but yep you guys i believe that is all there is to this video my loves i hope you all enjoyed this video and please don't forget to hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and also don't forget to check out my description box for all the info regarding new me and Till my next video, I will see you all very, very soon. We have bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why in gravity pulling you in close?